Born an orphan child in the ancient city of Mecca, Muhammad opened his eyes to a world plagued with ignorance and smeared with gross inequity. He lived in a world where the rich exploited the poor, the white subjugated the black, and women were bought and sold as commodities. The young Muhammad wisely understood that all external injustices stem from the internal ailments of the heart. He dedicated the entirety of his life teaching humanity how to become more virtuous. He transformed the world not through military might, but through the power of his gentle smile and his magnanimous character. God Almighty has praised this seventh century sage as the epitome of mercy and gentleness. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ And we have not sent you, but as a mercy to the worlds. When one of his wives was asked to describe him, she said, كَانَ أَلْيَنَ النَّاسِ وَأَكْرَمَ النَّاسِ وَكَانَ رَجُلًا مِنْ رِجَالِكُمْ إِلَّا أَنَّهُ كَانَ ضَحَاكًا بَسَّامًا She said, he was the most lenient of people and the kindest of people. He was as normal as one of your men, except he smiled a lot. One of the companions of the Holy Prophet noted that if the Holy Prophet did not see one of his companions for three days, he would ask about him. If he was away, he would pray for him. If he was present, he would seek him. And if he was sick, he would visit him. Muhammad's mercy even extended to plants and animals. The Holy Prophet exhorted his followers to plant trees, saying, مَا مِنْ مُسْلِمٍ يَزْرَعُ زَرْعًا أَوْ يَغْرِسُ غَرْسًا فَيَأْكُلُ مِنْهُ طَيْرٌ أَوْ إِنْسَانٌ أَوْ بَهِيمَةٌ إِلَّا كَانَتْ لَهُ بِهِ صَدَقَةٌ Every single Muslim who cultivates or plants anything of which animals or birds may eat from is counted as charity towards them on his behalf. On one occasion, the Holy Prophet saw an animal being abused and he came to its defense and said, لا تضرب الدواب على وجوهها فإنها تسبح بحمد الله Do not hit animals on their faces, for verily they praise and glorify God. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, the only man to spend every moment of his life with the Holy Prophet, describes the Holy Prophet in the following way. He says, مَنْ رَآهُ بَدِيهَةً هَابَ وَمَنْ خَالَطَهُ مَعْرِفَةً أَحَبَّ لَمْ أَرَ قَبْلَهُ وَلَا بَعْدَهُ مثله. Those who saw him were in awe of him, and those who interacted with him were enamored by him. I have never seen anyone like him before him nor after him.